But as far as the, like, colleges and stuff, I go to, um, I went to State, Michigan State University last weekend. I go to, uh, I think it's Michigan University in Detroit next weekend. And then the following weekend, I'm going to, um, I don't know the name, uh, it's some city nearby up North Diego or something like that. Anyway, I'm going there for a lapidary the following weekend on the 20th, I think the 21st, something like that. I took my book and I took the artifact you found, one of the artifacts I found, pictures, and the stuff you've seen too. Um, yeah, I took the head, and I took, I, I don't have a good picture of yours, just because I didn't have time to find it, print it, and all that. But, I took my, I can't do all that. Oh, oh, I've been making noise. Did I tell you I got to go see the archaeologist, and I go see the geologist this weekend, and then next weekend I did find a lapidary here nearby, I'm going to see them. Well, if you talk to a girl, I don't know who that is yet. But it could be Sarah, I don't know. I'm working with two people. There's the head of the archaeological department who recently retired, but he's going to come out because he has more time. And then the other person is Sarah, and she is the senior archaeologist, but she's for SHPO. She's not for the state of Michigan or the college or anything. Well, she's for the state of Michigan, but not the college. Um... And she also said she's going to come out, but she told me she would not have time until spring. So, just to clarify, <clears throat> this isn't my land this ship was found on. It was Jessica's. said this quite a few times. Uh, Painted Turtle Endeavors is her mining name. Um... She's been dealing with the folks I've sent emails to. She actually obviously took her head, one of the hundreds that we dug out of the hole, to the archaeology department um, that I had gotten a hold of. The lady I was deal dealing with is uh, named Jess, and she is the current head of the MSU archaeology department. And obviously, the old head is being called out <laughs> because it's something they want to look at. This is the one I took. This is the one I have with me. As you can see very clearly, the teeth pattern on it matches this one. And the brakes over here, and here, and here, and here, when they took the plumes off of this one. I still have it. The bottom jaw is missing. But the hieroglyphs, here, and up in here, in between the brakes, are still. And all the flower patterns and solar patterns on this thing are still. This one is also covered in the sheen of yellow glass. It is a blue jade. Look at it. It doesn't look like blue jade, does it? Until you scratch the surface on the back. Like, oh my god. It's the same stuff as the big. Now, the archaeologists are coming out to merely look at the big rock in the hole. But here's the thing. Obviously, she's taken one of the smaller effigies out there. And they, that interested them enough to come and look at these because I mean, who would believe a 10 ton version of fucking feathered serpent in the middle of Michigan? Well, you can definitely see the eyeball when you're walking up on this snake and the outline of the eye is like any other snake when you're coming up on this thing. Uh, there ain't no questions what it is. Well, you might make fun of my grainy $40 cricket camera footage. <laughs> Without question, the state of Michigan has white mine style temples and huge snake images. This is the biggest sore thumb in the North American continent right now. Uh, 
simple fact. It's, it's again, not mine. It's Jessica's. Her property happens to be right in the center of the Toth complex. You can call it what you will. It is what it is. It's a massive find in North America. I don't care what anybody says about it. Over here in YouTube. They're in the real world, archaeologists are beginning to jump about this. It's not on PBS yet. It just happened less than two weeks ago. Things don't happen that fast. Everybody's all like, well, well, why haven't we heard about it? You got any confirmations? Well, you know what? Took some artifacts there that could have been carried out of Peru and come out of anywhere. They want to see these videos, and they're on their way. As you can see in this photo, just the tooth was broken off. It was a triangle. Actually, we found the tooth uh, when Lisa was in there digging around for eggs and stuff. That footage is on a different one, but fit perfectly. I was like, oh my God, here's your tooth. The intricate patterns going back with the hieroglyphs in between and everything are definitely well preserved. The entire thing has a sheen of that yellow glass, and my $40 cricket phone doesn't do it much justice. But this one here's a high level. These are really intricate twirl and swirling designs going back all the way up to the doll. Um, I mean, I'm not an archaeologist. I can recognize that. Anybody looked at it, can like this is definitely a carved mouth of the serpent. It was pretty well preserved, actually. The whole thing, all the way back. Um, I had dug it up to like almost the gum line and was thinking, oh, this is a feathered cape. You can see it that well. In the back, you can see the feathers or what looks like a cape. You can see right in here, <clears throat> it's grainy as fuck, but very well preserved. On this rock, um, my camera doesn't do justice. Oh, I can say, but this is one of the original big plumes that was on there, and uh, there's like six of them attached on just this one side. You can see the smaller plumes to some of the hundred pound pegs that we were finding and realizing this is the fucking feathered serpent. Oh my god. And found the big clue. So I mean, we can completely rebuild this thing with the pieces of puzzle that were inside the hole. So rest assured, this village idiot isn't quite the idiot some people would make you out. And I'm not the only one on the case. I'm just the guy that found the thing. I'm the one that dug it up. It's not my land. I don't own it. There's a nice lady up in Michigan that does, and she's running around to all these colleges I've contacted with the little heads showing them. Now, granted, the little head, like I said, could have come out of anywhere, but it's enough to interest them to come and look at the big one, isn't it? And verify that the big one is the big one. Right there's the eye looking at you. Fucking snake eye like a motherfucker. When you walk up into that snake pit, there's no question what you're looking at. Yeah, this thing's being verified. I don't have to be there.